A lot of water coming down. Look at all that water coming down. There's a little uh, nail hole right here, so I cut it out. Hello and welcome to Tile Coach. I'm Isaac Ostrom and I've been getting a lot of calls and inquiries lately about flip house remodels. So homeowners that have bought a flip house that have been recently remodeled. Let's see what happened with Dan and his case here. When did you first discover the leak and everything, you know, the leak coming down through the ceiling? Yeah, so uh, when we closed on the house in May, uh, we couldn't actually move out here right away. We wanted to have um, our oldest kid uh, finish out the school year. So, um, but even so we were like too excited. We're like, let's just come up here for the weekend. So uh, we came up here for that weekend and we already did see some um, water accumulate um, in the kitchen, which is right below where we are here in the top floor bathroom. You know, between me taking a shower and um, uh, the kids uh, taking a bath in the tub there, uh, we did see some water pool up um, on the floor. At the beginning, we kind of thought, well, maybe, you know, our little one, you know, carrying sippy cups, maybe spill a little bit of water. Uh, but then when we actually came up and moved that very first weekend that we were here after the move, uh, we saw water coming back down again. And so we got back in touch with uh, with our real realtor and going from there. Um, yeah, we, we're still trying to figure out what, exactly what's going on with it. Uh, we've already had a GC come out to look at and a plumber. Um, the drain lines and the supply lines look fine to them um, but it was when they did some flooding on the pedestal that's when we seemed to be able to you know trigger the issue yeah so what they did is they came in and they they filled up the pan they plugged the drain filled up the pan just to the top of the curb and it still leaked so that's the way you can verify if it's the supply lines coming into the shower here or the line going up to the shower head that's how you can isolate that you basically have to plug the drain, fill it up, and if it's still leaking, then you know it's the pan. So basically when the plumbers come out, they wanna make sure that it's not something in the supply lines. And um, the other thing, if it's a supply line drip, you would have constant mm -hmm. drip. So the fact that it's only dripping and leaking when you're using it, either means it's the pan or it's the shower head. Yeah, another interesting note is that, you know, um because that information was related to the seller and their response was, oh, when we redid the, the shower stalls, because we also have one in the downstairs has the mm -hmm. exact same issue, um, their, they, their explanation was, well, we never actually touched the pan, so we don't know what's going on yeah. exactly. But that's what they're saying is, if it's an issue with the pan, we didn't touch the pan, so it must be yeah. something else going on. I feel pretty confident that we will be able to dig into this and see what's going on. Uh, so first what I would like to do is, is fill it up and see if we can get the leak to start happening. And then I can look from underneath and try to uh, pinpoint where it's coming from. All right, sounds good. Let's make it happen. Okay, cool. Okay, so first thing I did is I went ahead and plugged up the drain with just a rag and then filled up the pan with water. So I got a good amount of water in here. So let's run downstairs and see what's happening. So now... The water's off, so we're isolating that any leak that's happening has to be coming from here and not a water supply. I got the drain plugged up. You see water's not moving through there. So let's go downstairs and see if we can find the leak. Okay. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. It's actually probably better without the flashlight. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure. That's all right. Thank you. So, yeah, so we have a lot of water coming down, and it's coming from this hole right here. And let me see if I can get up here and get a good visual. Get all that water coming down. And so. Here is, that's the shower drain right there. There's the shower drain. So if it's coming from that hole, that's probably right on the plumbing wall. Okay. 
Okay, so you can clearly see that the water is coming down from the water supply line, the half inch copper. The hole that's drilled in the OSB is providing the avenue for the water to pour down. So it's hitting that OSB, finding the first penetration, which is that hole that's drilled for the plumbing line, and then pouring down, and then, and then it's hitting the sheetrock lid and just going everywhere, including down into the bucket. Oh yeah, you can really see it coming down the window now. There we go. So yeah, you can see, see it dripping down. That's actually the outside of the window. And it's just streaming down from the outside. <laughs> All right, guys, we got a lot of water. So let me go pull that rag up there so we don't fill up your bucket and flood the rest of your house. Okay, so uh, the, the plumbing wall is right here. You can see we got our plumbing valve and this wall, oh, you actually see bubbles. So you got bubbles. The water's all shut off, so it can't be leaking from here or here. It's gotta be coming from the pan because we have this plugged up. Wow, now the bubbles are really starting to pop up along that edge. We also have water on the outside of the curb right here. So we got water leaking right here on the curb. So yeah, the water is getting down to the OSB and then just saturating this whole thing, going down the outside of the window, going outside the curb, it's finding the hole in that supply line. That's where most of the water's coming through. So now that we know that it is a shower pan leak and not a plumbing leak, I dig into the shower pan a little bit to see if I can figure out what's going on. And what I find out is that they did replace the tile. They did put new tile and backer board on the wall. Uh, they did new dry pack and tile on the shower pan. But what they did is they left the old 40 mil PVC liner that was from the original construction of the house. So this pan liner is probably 20 years old. The reason that I know this is because the pan liner has some calcium deposits, it has some rust, it just overall looked kind of beat up and old. It had a few uh, nail holes in it and I could just tell this was an old pan liner. You see the light coming through it? So there was a puncture from a nail or a screw right at that part of the liner. So again, what the house flipper did for whatever reason, they did all of this new tile work, some of it which looked nice. I mean, it didn't really look like a professional tile person did it, but it was nice finishes and obviously a lot of work went into it. But for whatever reason, they left the old 40 mil pan liner in there. And obviously because it's leaking all over, dripping through the ceiling and <laughs> dripping outside of the house, and not even just dripping. I mean, this is like streaming, filling up buckets. Um, obviously, there's a big tear in this pan liner somewhere. So unfortunate that this is happening. Uh, the real estate market is really frenzied right now and driving this profit motivated house flipping to go on. It's a very lucrative business. So, so my hope again, is that even though this is a real bummer for Dan and anyone who's going through this, I really feel bad for you. So my hope is that these videos help change that and help save someone from the same grief that Dan and his family are dealing with right now. It's, it's just a really sad situation. So my hope is that these videos bring awareness and change. 
So I appreciate you being a part of that and watching this video. And before I go, I love you. I love being your tile coach and we'll see you on the next video.